What are the chances that the military has an alien stashed away in a box somewhere and they're <laughs> not telling us about it? And don't laugh, comic. Uh, I, I prefer to think of that in a different context. Um, if we were visited by aliens, why did they only visit the military? <laughs> I mean, you can ask very simple questions <laughs> in response to this. And why is it that our best images of these visiting aliens are fuzzy? When we have six billion smartphones in the world, each capable of a high resolution video or still image. And then I concluded that maybe the aliens are actually fuzzy. <laughs> and they have a special affection for the US Navy. That would explain it all. But think about it, we are essentially crowdsourcing any possible alien invasion, because everybody's got a camera. And not only that, at any given moment, you can run the math on this, there's about a million people who are airborne with a window looking out into the atmosphere. So it seems to me, if a mothership arrived, it it would go viral because someone would take it. Cats go viral, all right? <laughs> Jumping from a chair to a couch. I'm thinking <laughs> an alien encounter. So, so if they don't want to bring it out of the lockbox, it's not, not helpful. It's not useful scientifically. We have to at least bring out the evidence. And by the way, they, they did that in Mexico. They brought out the aliens to the Mexican Congress. So huh? that, was, that was intriguing. Yeah, they had two aliens. You, you missed that? I did. Oh, you missed that news cycle. OK. <laughs> so <laughs> they, these are alien mummies that they claim they found in Peru. And after they showed them in the Mexican Congress, Peru said, what are you doing with our alien mummies? Right? How did you get them? So uh, my point is, that's a, an important first step. You present the evidence. You don't just swear that you have it in a locked box, that's not how science works. So now the next step is send samples of it to other labs so they can verify or falsify your claims. That's how science works. We do that for much lesser stories than two mummified alien bodies. So I, I remain unconvinced really? by it all. But we, my people, my, my astrophysicists, the, the cosmetologists, we've, we've all, <laughs> we've, been, we've been eager to find extraterrestrial intelligence or uh, aliens of any kind. We've been looking for decades. So don't think we were somehow shy away from such a discovery. If we find that, we're, we're telling the world that night. And if one visits, here's the one you gotta think about. If one visits and it says, take me to your leader, are you really taking it to the White House or not, okay? <laughs> right, I'm just saying. Actually, right to the White House. First <laughs> no, no, up. There, I, no, but I would can rank. I, can I sum up what you've just said? Please. Leslie, don't be absurd. No, 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 no. It's, no. So let's speak, think about it more holistically. If there's a threat from the skies that we do not, under, do not understand, I want the military to investigate it. So, yeah, what are we giving, $700 billion a year? Put a couple of pennies of that to study stuff we don't understand, the unidentified aerial phenomenon, the UAPs. Well, who are they fooling? That's just a rebranding of UFO, all right? That's the government calls UFOs. Yes, find them, capture them, study them. Well, you've seen those pictures. The fuzzy pictures. The fuzzy pictures. Yeah. I don't know what they are. Well, they're but, unidentified. But, because, but. Since I just said I don't know what they are, I cannot in my next sentence say, I know what they are, which is what everyone else is doing. They say, I don't know what this is. It must therefore be intelligent aliens visiting from out. You just said you don't know what you're looking at. You cannot in the next sentence declare that you know what it is. And as a scientist, you must learn to love the questions themselves because you don't always have answers at all times to all the mysteries you confront.